you are going into year 13, I think the pandemic and its effects on education is probably the hardest on you because you were robbed of sitting your GCSEs and I probably don't, you probably don't see it as being robbed but that was your only chance for this to sit formal exams and to have that experience of being in the exam hall, being under pressure, doing the revision for that. Um, and you are, like, I'm 95% exams are going to happen next year, which means you're going to go into your A-level exams, really, really high pressure exams, without having the practice of sitting GCSE exams, which is hard. You then started A-levels, kind of behind already, because we we didn't finish GCSEs, and then your year 12 was disrupted as well. Now, last year at this point last year i was always 60 40 whether exams going to take place or not and obviously they didn't i'm like 95 percent exams are going to happen in 2022 um and these are big exams for you guys so we need to spend time preparing however i don't want you to freak out about this i know it's like a really negative start to the video um there are loads and loads of things we can do and there's loads and loads of time we can do it in the best way to revise anything is doing little and often so hopefully you've got into a pattern of independent study where you're doing an hour's independent study for every hour contact time you have with your teacher at least 15 minutes of that time at the moment needs to be purely revising year 12 content so writing up your notes adding to your notes finding extra examples filing them away in your folders for later use and then going right back to the beginning of your folders and revising year 12 content. Every single time there are set A-levels, the examiner's reports say year 12 content was really poor. Nobody revised it properly because you think it's the easy stuff. And going back now, it will seem like the easy stuff. I know way back then it was horrible and freaky and it was really, really scary. But you're a year older now you know how to do all the stuff we did at the beginning of year 12 and when you go back and revise it you'll find that is actually a lot easier than it felt like when we were doing it the first time round. so 15 minutes of that hours independent study i'd like you to focus on revising year 12 stuff now this can be just making uh flashcards from a definition when i was training to teach somebody told me that in a level sciences you learn more new words than you do in a little french and i 100 percent believe this partly because this is what i've spent my summer doing this is a 300 odd page glossary for a level biology with crosswords in to help you revise now, I'm sure at some point in one of your tests, whether it's biology or any other subjects, you wrote down an answer and it was wrong by like one word or the, the, the slight meaning got confused and you didn't get the marks. That is how strict definitions are at A level. So actually going back and looking at all the new keywords that we threw at you at the beginning of year 12 and making flashcards for those is a really, really useful thing for you to do. And it is revision, but it's not like the really, really hard thing you revision when you're throwing yourselves into past papers and doing loads and loads of work like that. Now the other thing you're probably going to find new and different when you go back in year 13 is that people are going to be talking about UCAS and personal statements, getting UCAS forms in. If you're applying for Oxford or Cambridge or medicine then the deadline is the middle of October which is very very soon. If you're not applying for any of those you have until January. However, 50% I heard 50% of UCAS applications go in in that period between Christmas and the middle of January when the deadline is and universities do not wait around twiddling their thumbs to offer places. They will offer places as soon as they get a suitable candidate in. They're not going to wait around to see if maybe the better one turns up. So the earlier you get your UCAS application in the better. This is definitely going to be um, a focus on your teacher's mind so please when they ask you to do something just do it. So if you haven't already started on a personal statement then I've got a whole massive long list of playlists to help you 
do this to help you sort out what to write in your personal statement, where to pick for university, what subject to study. You don't have to have those things decided yet. It is okay. You still have time to change your mind about these things. Um, but there is going to be a lot of pressure on you to get this done to make big decisions. Now, if you want to take a gap year, that is a perfectly, in my opinion, perfectly understandable thing to do after the trauma of the past two years. But make sure you have a plan for your gap year. Nobody is impressed by a gap year which you sent sitting around in your bedroom not really doing anything. Go and volunteer or go and work or go and, I don't know, do something interesting. Um, I am going to be here with you every single step of the way guys. I have courses and I'm finalising the formatting for um, practice papers and I'm working on the predictive papers for next year's exams. Courses are all up on my website and then the whole topic videos, which I know everybody loves, are mammoth. I think maths is like four hours that's a bit of a beast anyway um there is lots and lots that i can help you with um lots and lots to do um if you're doing over chemistry i just want to show you this it's hexagonal drawing paper um you either think this is the most brilliant thing in the world ever or you think i'm a weirdo um and if you haven't started on organic chemistry or benzene yet then you would have no idea but when you do you need this. It is available as a free download from my website. So unless you want to print it off, you can just like draw a little bit here and then cut it out, stick it in your notes, and then write the mechanism next to it. Love it. I use it all the time. Um. Anyway, guys. Um. I know the past couple of years have been brutal. I know the uncertainty about uh, what is happening next really doesn't help with absolutely anything at all. Um. But I'm going to be here with you as much as I can every single step of away um with your studies and with your university application forms and even if you don't want to go to university i've got other stuff on there for you as well um so uh good luck guys um it's gonna be a tough year but we can do this ouch this is why in some videos i've had explained scratches <laughs>